all know who Destroyer 2009 is, right? You surely remember them from this hack. Well, I think we just got our final update from them ever. And if you're not aware, Destroyer 2009 is the person who did this ALGS hack and is now blamed for any glitch that happens in Apex. And they're kind of a mysterious figure because they don't have any main social media, so all of the information we hear about them is usually through other sources. For example, like TechCrunch who did an interview with Destroyer 2009, where Destroyer claimed that the hacks were basically just done for fun and to make Respawn aware of an exploit. And more recently, in the last few days, TechCrunch got another interview with Destroyer 2009 2009 that revealed pretty much the final chapter of everything. But before we get onto that, for a long time we have been questioning the authenticity of these interviews and if TechCrunch is actually interviewing the real Destroyer 2009. Because they never truly give us any proof that it was him. Well, luckily recently I got an email from somebody who claimed to have found Destroyer on a Russian speaking hacking form and interviewed him and asked him a few questions. And one of these questions was, are the TechCrunch interviews legit? And Destroyer said, if the question is not stupid, I try to answer. But yes, Lorenzo wrote to me and asked about the same things as you. And Lorenzo was the person who wrote the original TechCrunch interview. So I guess the TechCrunch interview is a bit more legit now. Still, take it with a grain of salt, but we have more proof that these interviews are legit and with the real Destroyer. With that being said, let's look at the newest TechCrunch article that came out four days ago written by Lorenzo called Apex Legends Hacker Says Game Developers Patched Exploit Used on Streamers. In this, we get some new quotes from Destroyer where he said, the exploit I used in the Apex Legends Global series is fully patched. Meaning this hack where cheaters can put hacks on your computer isn't possible anymore. He went on to say, no one likes when severe vulnerabilities in your product are exposed publicly. I asked my friend and we both agreed that we don't really want to publicly expose what happened from a technical perspective yet. With that friend most likely being the guy called Random who was also mentioned in these hacks who never gets any recognition. And he went on to say that he won't do any more public hacks now because anything more severe than the tournament hack will be considered a real hacking incident and so will the consequences. So he'll just play the game until it gets boring, I guess. <laughs> so, it looks like the looming threat of Destroyer 2009 is kind of slowing down, and I guess we won't hear from them much anymore. So, what do you think about Destroyer not wanting to do any bigger hacks? And also, subscribe just in case something else develops in this story.